All right, welcome back, guys. Let's uh, proceed up and figure out how to retrieve the demi guy's moons. Look, another lock. Hello, Hamora. Dear Mirabelle, my dear Dot has been asking after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer or two if you were to join us. It's been far too long. When you do manage to come by, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants. The more fragrant ones? Ever since the troll attack, customers have been complaining about the smell of, believe it or not, old socks. Nothing I've tried seems to cover the stench. Hoping to see you soon, with or without the plants, your friend, Serona. So I think Mirabelle is Professor Garlic? I could be wrong. So Serena wants Professor Garlic to bring some plants and hang out. It's a Hufflepuff banner. Oh, so this must be Professor Garlic's sitting room. I wonder if this is her bedroom. The ambitious cloak. Yeah, this must be Professor Garlic's bedroom. Well, let's move on. <laughs> Professor Fig, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I'm still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As to the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I've made note of your concerns, and in as much as time allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that the matter is looked into, schedule permitting. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. Should you wish, I can have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you would be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Ferris Spavin, Minister for Magic. Alright, so he just blew old Figgy off and gave him some tickets to a Quidditch final. It's about fairly accurate, I guess. Level 2? Oh, I can't do level 2 locks. I can only do level 1. So... Return additional moons to Gladwin in order to gain additional levels in Alohomora. Alright, no key for that one. Okay, so we found Professor Garlic's room. And Professor Fig's sitting room. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures in enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead and remain undetected. Revelio. Ah, an authority figure. Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day, however, only the other day. An unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke 
and giving those of us nearby an abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect that the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Matilda Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. A lot of notes laying around here, which is pretty cool. I like it. Darling Abraham, you'd be overjoyed to know that the local children have taken to playing gobstones in the street just outside of your study window. They're quite charming, I must say. I noticed the youngest was without her own set of gobstones, so I lent her one of yours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I hope things are going well at the castle. I'm relieved that you arrived safely. A dreadful story about that gentleman from the ministry. Was he really traveling with Eliezer? And a student? Simply dreadful. Do write them when you have a moment. I'm most eager to hear stories of this year's Summoner Court participants. Your students so adore you, my dear, with love, M. I wonder who Abraham is. Was that the Charms Professor? Oh, this would be his room. Kind of goofy, I guess. Let's see if I've got a pot of gold. say. Is that so? Uh, we're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers that can scarcely tell the difference between Arcanite and Asphodel. Yes, well, it's still early. Uh, you say that every year, Matilda. No, Professor Sharp and Professor Weasley hanging out, chatting it up. It looks like a big lock on that door, so I won't be able to get in there. Revelio. Oh, they left. Now's my chance. The jewel encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on a holiday in the Ardennes. Huh. Nice. Yeah, that is a level 2 locker, level 3 lock, level 3. Alright, our challenge is completed, so I'll, I'll grab that once we're done with this mission. I wish I could just stun him.
Boris the Bewildered. The statue of a lost-looking wizard known as Boris the Bewildered has perplexed students for ages. Is he coming or going? See at the beginning of a journey or the end? Perhaps we shall never know. I need 50 more, holy smokes. No, 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 not this way. Go the other way. Aha. This must be the prefect's bathroom. Thought wouldn't be so combative if the ministry would allow them to have wands. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or helm, I suppose. Anyway, I'm not afraid of a goblin rebellion. My marching professor Hecate's class is superb. I don't think that's what that class is for. He's right. Why don't you leave goblins alone, troll? <laughs> that way. I'm a prefect too, stupid. That's it. 50 health points. You know you can't do that. Revelio. The Prefix Bathroom. The Prefix Bathroom features a swimming pool-sized bathtub that can be filled with enchanted soap and colorful bubbles, as well as a beautiful painted mural depicting a mermaid. It'd be nice if I had a little more time to explore, but looks like that guy's just stuck right there. Hufflepuff? Ravenclaw? 
I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this one. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's a majestic sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Oh, uh, how's that? Well, all of the teamwork and uh, flying about. And... Isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. Do I hear the patter of students? Surely you have better things to do than risk detention by wandering where you shouldn't. But I thought they liked me, the two of them. I was their favorite student. Mr. Moon, I am back. Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the boggart in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Right. I'll be glad to help. If it gets me more Alohomora levels, I'm in for everything. It's definitely intriguing. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there? How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. You have your work cut out for you, if you were to ever unravel their meaning. And what will I get for helping you further? You mentioned offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Okay, I'll keep looking then. Thank you, sir. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Okay. Caretaker's Lunar Lament completed. Level 21. Nice. Hello, cat.
Hello, friend. I wonder if you might stop by the three broomsticks when you can. I would like your help with something. Got As I mentioned, my sister Anne misses Hogwarts, and she hasn't been herself lately. I'd like to take you up on your promise to visit her with me. I'm heading to Feldcroft soon, so I'll look forward to seeing you there. It's just south of Hogwarts. By the way, hope you're faring well with the blasting curse. It's still one of my favorites. Now that you've attended Beast's class, I've asked Deke to assist you in using the room to further your studies in that regard. Please meet him there when you can. I've not heard from my Uncle Roland in quite some time. I've been beside myself with worry. Could you meet me in the courtyard? Okay, so we've got to go help Adelaide uh, meet Sebastian's sister. Oh my god, look at how many quests there are. Alright, so the tale of Rowland Oaks. Adelaide Oaks seems worried about someone. I should speak with her. Talk to Adelaide. The man behind the moons, so we gotta get uh, nine more moons for level two and three. Or is that nine moons for two and then another nine moons for three? Mr. Moon will teach me a more advanced form of Alohomora once I find all the demigod statues. I should search Hogwarts, Hogsmeade, and any hamlets for the statues. I can only collect the moons from the statues at night. Alright. A friend indeed. Serona, the proprietress of the Three Broomsticks and Hogsmeade, sent me an owl requesting I meet her with at my earliest convenience. I should find out what she needs. She's a nice lady. We should help her out. Oh, we'll get a Conjuration Spellcraft. That would be nice. Um, descending for Sweets. This is Gareth Weasley's quest. We'll get some gold and a Conjuration Spellcraft. Gareth mentioned the statue of the One-Eyed Witch is in the third floor corridor. Find the statue. We've got Zenobia's Gobstone still, 4 out of 6. We've got to do some broom racing with the Melda. Continue with the Dedalian Keys, follow the Butterflies. Do Professor Onai. Um, Deke wants to teach me how to use the Nabsack to rescue magical beasts. We do want to do this one. Deke is going to show us how to go poach animals. And in the shadow of the estate... I promised Sebastian I would meet him in Feldcroft. He hopes meeting a new student will bring some cheer to his sister Anne. But there's something ominous happening in Feldcroft. Okay, so let's do... Descending for Sweets first. Um, then, as we're going to end up in Hogsmeade, we should do Serona's quest. Then we'll do Imelda's. And then we'll go and do Professor Onai's. To get Descendo. We got some more talents. Need level 22 for this last one. Uh, let's see what the Room of Requirement talents has. The Ajira's Potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectiles back at enemies. That sounds good. Visibility Potion. Uh, I don't think I want that. Cabbage. For each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost. So if we wanted to be like a sort of Professor Garlic Plant Battler, I guess we could go the, the cabbage spec. Uh, headache, the damage and duration of incapacitating effect of mandrakes are increased. Maxima. I think we'll want Maxima at some point. Thunderbrew Potency, Focus Potency, Noxious. That looks pretty cool, so we need level 22 to get there. Maybe we should just hold on to our points. Because this one looks pretty good too.
these dark arts ones seem pretty good. Alright, I don't know what I'm gonna get. I don't know how many levels there are total in the game. So I think I'll hold on to my points for now. Um, and we'll pick later. I could have sworn the witch was here. This looks like the right statue. Oh, it is. Now, what was the password? It was Descendium, bro. Honeyduke's passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. Uh, it can only be accessed during a, using a particular charm. Descendium! Goodness! Who knew this was all down here? Okay, I've managed to enter the passageway behind the One-Eyed Witch statue. Now to see where it leads. So this goes back to the Quad South Hall. And here is the passageway. A lift? Must be how I get down. Looks broken though. We know how to fix that, don't we? Repair it. That seems to have done the trick. Okay, that's about a half hour. I'm, uh, I'll cut it here. And next episode, we take the lift down to Honeydukes and see what awaits us. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.